Greetings everyone! In today's tutorial, we will customize WooCommerce. We will make some changes to the default text and as well remove fields from the checkout page. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We are now at the dashboard of our demo site, that is wp-admin. This website only has the WooCommerce plugin. Let me open a new tab. So is the WooCommerce plugin and Stripe Payment Gateway. Let me close this. And we have used the default WordPress theme 2021. Let me quickly go to the website. So this is the default theme. And if I go to the shop, we have added one single test product. Every website will look different as per the themes used. However, in this WooCommerce tutorial, we are going to customize the default content of the WooCommerce plugin. So it should also work great for your website. So first thing, we are going to change the text for this add to cart. In order to do this, please go to your dashboard, go to appearance and theme editor, Go to themesfunctions.php, scroll down and simply copy this code. Please note, depending upon the types of product you are using, if it's a single product, then use this code and if it's product archives or you are offering downloads, then use this code. For this, we set up for downloads, so we are using this code. Simply copy it and paste it here at the bottom. An update file. So we have changed the default text to buy now. It was add to cart. Let me refresh this. So it's buy now. Whatever text changes you make here, it will be reflected over there. So this is done. If I click on buy now, it showed me view cart as an option. And it is still in the same page. So what we can do is, instead of staying in the same page, we can directly send the customer to the cart page, that is this page, so that it's not confusing for anyone. To do that, here is the code to send to cart directly. Simply copy it and again in your themes function.php, paste it at the bottom. An update file. After only adding this code, it will not work. So we will have to make some changes to the WooCommerce settings. For that, simply go to WooCommerce and Settings. Go to Products. And please make sure this is ticked off. If this option is not unticked, the code may not work. So please make sure this is off. And save changes. Let me go to the website. Also delete this product to start again. Let me go back to the shop. Now I am here. If I click to buy now, I am directly taken to the card page, as you can see. Now for some people, this step may also not be necessary, and they rather want to send directly to the checkout page. So basically, this checkout page. Let me go back and delete this product again and go back to the shop. Now in order to directly send to the checkout page, simply copy this code. Please note, earlier we sent to cart, so delete this code and use the checkout code. Use only one either to cart page or to the checkout page and update file. Please note, to make this code work, you must untick Enable Ajax in the WooCommerce settings. Let me refresh this. If I click on Buy Now, I am directly taken to the checkout page, as you can see. So this is the checkout page. The code is working all great. Let me go to the cart and delete the product. So here you can see return to shop and when clicked here, it goes to the slash shop page. So we can change this text too. 
with any other text we want to use. To do that, again copy the code and paste it at themesfunction.php. So this is the text here. Write your text which will be reflected here. Update file. And if I refresh this, so the text has been changed. Now again, this will go to the slash shop page. But if you want to change this URL, like to the home page or any other specific pages, we can do that too. Simply copy the code and paste it at the bottom. So this is the URL it will take to. I want to send it to the home page, so let me copy this and replace it here. An update file. Just a reminder, the Ajax needs to be disabled. Now this should go to the home page. Let me refresh the page. And then if I click here, I am now redirected to the home page. As you can see. Now let me again go to the shop and click on buy now. Now I am in the checkout page. Let us customize these fields too. All of these boxes may not be necessary. If you are selling digital products or such, you wouldn't need all this information. So we can remove many elements from here. In order to do that, we need to add some codes to function.php. Simply copy this code and paste it at the bottom. Briefly explaining, this code will remove the first name, last name, address, city, postal code and as accordingly. Depending on your WooCommerce setup, you could have a billing address and shipping address. Here's the code to remove the fields from the shipping address. As I have set up for downloads, shipping is not shown. If in case you want to customize shipping details, you can use this to make changes to the shipping fields. If you want to completely remove shipping, then I will add the code in the description link. Anyway, you can keep or remove shipping details, let's keep it an update file. Let me refresh the space, so all the fields are gone. So whatever you need on the site, remove it from the code. Like I need the name, remove it. You might need a last name, remove it. And you might need a phone number and email, so remove it too. So whatever fields are here in this code will be hidden from the site. After doing this, simply update file. And if I refresh this, so you can see there's first name, last name, number and email. So it works all good. Now the last thing, if we choose PayPal, it proceeds to PayPal. If we choose Stripe, it says place order. If you want to change the place order text, again go to the codes, copy it and paste it here at the bottom. So I am replacing it with buy now, update file. And if I refresh this, and if I click on Stripe, you can see Buy Now. So this is a quick tutorial to customize WooCommerce. If you want to add terms and conditions like this, please check the other tutorial. The link should be up on the right, if not, it is in the description. Hope you learned something new. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.